They are feeding today. They are here in Florida to help me catch peacock bass. Old school Rapala, this thing has been put through some uh, tests. And you have some friends? Yes. Pat him, kneel down. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. If you like family fishing fun, traveling, outdoors adventures, then make sure you hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell right now. But since a lot of you guys know I've been sidelined with my knee surgery and the blood clot and stuff, I had to kind of dig into the archives to uh, to find some content to share with you guys. And I hope you like it. So you know, I, I, I'm all about family and stuff. And even though now my kids don't really want to hang out with me, I'm not I'm not cool enough. Um, we did have some fun hanging out fishing before, and it. it I, I see some of these old videos and it it makes me think about you know when they were younger and, and the past and stuff and just how much fun it was actually taking them out and seeing them being being outside and enjoying the outdoors so in this this video it's me teaching my daughter how to use a like a, a square bill and a jerk bait to catch some peacock bass but first we went to Orlando for a little trip and me being me I wanted to fish in Orlando I didn't bring my rod, so we went to Walmart. I got a cheap little setup, and I made my wife hold the camera while I went fishing for a little while. So I got this $10 Zebco slingshot from Walmart. We're out here in Orlando. I realized there is a uh, lake behind the house that we're staying in. Just out walking the dog with my wife. So I'm gonna give this thing a few casts, see if I can get me a fish. So far, no go. I'm gonna keep fishing. <laughs> Got one, man. On the cheap old Zebco from Walmart, baby. I'm gonna have to take these rods down to Miami and uh, do a little challenge with Mike. A little ten dollar Walmart rod challenge. Look at that. <gasps> Large mouth bass. Orlando, Florida. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so you saw I got the Walmart rod, the cheap Walmart rod. Well, I'm going to let my daughter Lexi here use it and uh, we're going to throw in a lure and see if she can learn how to use a lure to catch some peacock bass. Have you ever caught one on a lure before? Um, no. No? So today's going to be the first time. Today she's going to learn how to use that lure and hopefully she can catch a fish. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Another one. Oh my God, look, 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 on the little hook. Bro. I did it! On the baby lure. No way, no way. They are hungry, they are feeding today. Guys, look how hungry they are. Look, on the Strike King. Look, on the Strike King. Brian just reeled in too. All right guys, just working this little lure. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh. There was two on the lure. Now there's just one. There we go. I had it. But one popped off. Come on, where you at? Oh, there's one. There's one. There we go. 
of number two. I'll close it and reel. There you go. Faster than that. Faster. There you go. That's the speed right there. All right. Reel it back up. Yeah, stand there and go straight back. There you go. Much better. There it is. That's how you For a little while, you know, we weren't catching any fish, but that didn't make a difference because it was just me being able to hang out and share something that I love with my children. And on this day, it just happened to be my daughter. Oh, let me see the hook. Okay, you're good. You're gonna get one. You're gonna get one. And the best part about it is you're gonna get one on your own. So the fish have been hitting the bigger lure that's been on my rod um, and they've not been hitting Lexi's rod. So we switched out from the uh, Lucky Strike, the little bitsy minnow to the old school Rapala. This thing has been put through some uh, tests. It's all beaten and battered. So hopefully we can beat it up again one more time or a few. So uh, Lexi, here you go. It should be easier to cast too. These Walmart rods, they are super cheap, which means they have super cheap line. Even though it's pretty strong and durable, it wants to stay bent and curled up. Lexi got a fish on the Rapala. <laughs> Baby fish. All right. Let's get this line cleaned up so we can fish some more. You got fish? Yeah. How do I hold like the that again? Like that? Yeah, that's fine. Peacock bass. <laughs> All right, we're gonna fish for a little bit longer, guys. And what I'm gonna do is catch a bait fish to catch a big fish. So hopefully I'm successful and uh, we'll see. Walk on down here. And just like that, I've got myself a little Mayan cichlid. These are invasive species that were released and they, they are here in Florida to help me catch peacock bass. So I'm gonna walk over to my other rod. I already got a bait hook set up. Show you what we do. Right here, I just tied it on. Got a size one hook. And what you're gonna wanna do is just put it through the lip, up and through, just like that, and toss them in. Just like that. Walk over here, and we're gonna cast out and get a fish. No ducks, that is not for you. Check my drag, a little loose. That's better. Using a Shimano Vanford on a Mojo St. Croix. Uh, it's a kayak rod. Got me a fish, guys. Peacock bass, finally. Barely hooked. Now flip them up. There it is. Peacock bass. Look at the tail. 
All right, let's toss them in. Hopefully there's another one. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Um, yeah, you guys saw Lexi learn how to use a Rapala and uh, jerk baits, and uh, you got to see me catch a bait fish, cast it out, and catch a peacock bass. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Lexi, you had fun? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Hey, she got to play with Ducky, so uh, can't call that a bad day. So guys, till next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. So yeah, man, I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I, I really hope you enjoy the content that I'm producing for you. So if you do, if you do like it, make sure, again, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell because it'll allow you to see all my upcoming videos. And of course, you don't want to miss it.